Hi guys. Well, I'm on my way to Walmart. I'm doing the curbside pickup. So I wanted to just let you know what I thought of it. And I'll be back when I get there. So they sent me a text telling me my groceries were ready. And we'll see how long it takes before they come and deliver them. I answered them. You have to sign in and let them know you're on the way. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'll be back. Just wanted to say one of the things that I like about this so far is <clears throat> you download the app to your phone or you know wherever and you go online now I did this on my laptop at home and you can put things in your cart and save your cart so you don't really need a paper grocery list and um, so that's a nice feature because I've been putting things in my cart now for about a month so normally I used to go to Walmart um, Oh, probably a couple times a month, sometimes three times a month. So um, this really has saved me time because as I think of things that I need, even if I'm running low on things, I can put them in my cart and, you know, then it's easy when I don't have to make a list. So anyway, that's one of the features I like. And also, I paid for all the groceries last night. You can do credit or debit or whatever floats your boat and you can kind of pick and choose and you know beforehand how much your bill is going to be because it total, totals it up for you so it's like a running total of how much you're spending. So I think that's pretty neat. But anyway, it's really a crummy looking day today. It's gray and rainy. Go figure. Here in Ohio, April is kind of not, not the prettiest month, so it's usually wet and rainy and damp and chilly. So I'll be back. So I've arrived here at Walmart. Sorry this is so dark, but it is really a gray day today and it's pouring. So I have no idea where to go for the grocery pickup. So I'm going to have to read the signs, and now we've got a FedEx guy in front of me. So I really have no idea where to go here. Um, and we've got some guys here that are selling things. And another truck. So let's move on here. Lots of people milling around. So let's see. I, I'm thinking I'm getting close. I don't want to take anybody out here. Um, lots of signs. So, I don't know where this is going to be. So, I'll be back when I figure it out. Okay, there's a big sign here that says pickup. So, I'm thinking this is where I need to be. Anyway, let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, there's a guy sitting there. And... I don't know if he's coming out or if I should go in. So I'm thinking they're probably going to come out. Yep, here they come. I'll be back. Well, that was easy. I'll open my trunk. He came out and he asked me if I was here for grocery pickup and if my name was Ellen. So, and here they come with the groceries. So I'll have them put them in the trunk and see what happens. Well, that was very easy. 
so the nice young man he came out and they do substitute things if they're out of things so I had ordered some toothpaste I wanted um, a twin pack and they were out of that so they gave me four regular toothpaste and then one of the um, meat things that I uh, the vegan meat things that I ordered they were out of that I wanted the beefless tips and they gave me ground um, vegan ground so that was fine with me too so um, they do ask you when they do a substitute and I guess you can refuse it if you don't want it so anyway um, now I'm on the way home and they came right out it took you know five minutes to load the truck or the trunk and now I'm headed home so I would recommend it uh, it saved me a lot of time so far and um, sorry I'm trying to keep my eye on the road I would recommend uh, the shopping so I have this app that keeps coming up on my phone and I'll be recording or on a phone call and all of a sudden I get this ad and it shuts my camera off. It's extremely annoying. I've been to the phone store a couple times to get rid of it and I don't know. They, they can't seem to get rid of it either. So I'm probably going to have to reload my apps and see which one's causing the problem and not reinstall that one. But anyway, as I was saying, so far the, the experience has been very positive. It saved me a ton of money because normally when I go into Walmart, I, I would spend at least $150. And I think this bill came to like $74, $76. I'll, um, I'll come back after I get home and I'll show you what I bought. All right, be back in a little bit. <clears throat> I'm back and here's what I bought. My total bill came to $81.71, but I did get a couple things in there that were a little on the pricier side, like the cashews, and um, I got two huge creamers, um, which will last me a good month. There's the creamers. There's the cashews. So anyway, <clears throat> I did some... Um, Normally I wouldn't have gone to the store already because I'm trying to keep my trip down to once a month and then, you know, just little errands here and there, but Easter's this weekend, so um, that's why I went. And I spent eighty-one seventy-one altogether. So let me show you what I bought. I bought two things of pop. Now I bought Coke and Sprite. I don't drink pop, but my family does. So, since they're coming over for Easter, I picked up two six-packs. I bought toilet paper. Um, those are the uh, 12 rolls. Um, and that, those were like five-something. I don't remember exactly. Um, <clears throat> I bought two things of my favorite tea. Uh, the Celestial Spice. So, I got two of those. And I bought uh, almond milk ready whip. That's a little more expensive than I think regular ready whip. I bought uh, whipping cream for a dish I'm making for my family. I bought some butter and earth balance for me. The dish I'm making is a salmon dish for them and it, it takes butter. So I had to get that. That's two things I normally wouldn't buy and the pop I wouldn't normally buy. I had ordered two I had ordered one twin pack of ultra bright toothpaste which they were out of so they gave me four just regular boxes of ultra bright for the same price so that was a good deal and when they do substitutions when you get there to pick it up they'll ask you right away we substituted this or that and is that okay with you or not okay? So that was fine with me. And two, when you get your bags home, they'll put a substitution sticker on it, on anything that they've substituted. So I thought that was nice. Um, so moving on here, I've got a dozen um, 
boxes. I, I got three boxes of this drink mix. I like this because it's got stevia in it. There's no Splenda in it, which I don't like. Um, I got the cashews and roasted peanuts uh, for me and my family. I eat a lot of nuts as snacks because I don't eat meat. I bought Juicy Juice for my grandkids. They like that. Uh, this was another thing they substituted. I had ordered beef tips, the, the uh, beefless beef tips, and they gave me beefless ground, which is fine too. I'll use that. And this was for Easter too. I got two bags of Brussels sprouts, two fresh bunches of spinach, and a bag of peas. So all in all, I got a lot of stuff. Like I said, normally I wouldn't buy everything now, and I really didn't need to go to the store, but I needed uh, stuff for Easter. And, and the stuff like the, the, the drink mix and the tea and the creamer, wow, I've got a really big finger, um, that'll last me a good month. So anyway, that's what I got from Walmart. All in all, I thought it was a very positive experience, and I will be doing that again. Normally, I would spend anywhere from $150 to $200 every time I go in Walmart. It seems like that's what I spend. So even though I spent more um, because I made an extra trip to the store because of Easter, I still saved a lot of money by not going in the store. All right, um, that's all I have to say about my Walmart experience, and it, it is positive, so if you're trying to save money and trying to cut back on lists, grocery lists, it, that turned out great. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Please subscribe, comment, share, and like. And I'll see you next time.